Niagara Pump House Art Center will be featuring the mixed media works by Judy Blue Anderson in a new exhibit titled, What Lies Below. This new body of work is abstracts for me. Typically, I'm a landscape painter, a little bit on the impressionistic side. But during COVID, I found that my inspiration for my landscapes kind of waned a bit. I wasn't traveling. I wasn't in situ sketching. And I thought, I'm still creative. I still want to make things. But I need to maybe go a different direction just to fill time. Because there were no art shows, no gallery shows. Same with every, for everybody else as well. So I started looking, you know, social media like we all did. But a friend of mine is a deep wreck, shipwreck photographer. And I was looking at his work and started to just to do some really small little sketches and some small, small little watercolors. And I thought, OK, well, maybe I can work these up into bigger pieces. So that's what I ended up doing. They're, the work is based on shipwrecks, but they're not literal translations. I'm trying to just give the impression and the feeling of what it's like to be under the water or near the surface or in the waves. And sometimes when you're on a shipwreck, it's quiet. Sometimes it's currenty and scary. So that's the direction I took with this work. Now, can you tell me about the first finished piece in the collection? The first finished piece I did, I'm not hanging it here today because I actually don't feel it's cohesive enough now with, with the way this work has evolved. Um, it was very lin linear and a little too representational. I'm trying to get away from, oh, there's a boat. Oh, there's a, like just, I want the feeling, not the actual image. Some of them still need to have some work done to get away from that. But the, so the very first one I did, was too much what I don't want them to be, but it's a learning and a discovery, so I need to work more to get away from that. Can you tell me a little bit how you start, how the concept comes to you, and what it takes to get to a piece where you say, I think I'm finished with this? So typically for these, I've started with very small, um, like Sharpie thumbnail sketches, maybe two inches by two inches, very quick graphic linear drawing. And I'll do multiples of those based on the images I'm looking at, trying to get the, sh the main shapes, the main proportions that I want to try to talk to. And then I work them up into smaller, maybe eight by 10 watercolors or small acrylic paintings to bring in some color and some shading and where I think I want the color palette to go. And then what I'll do with the bigger pieces, I'll take a, I'll do a big charcoal sketch, um, maybe morphing that or imitating that first two by two sketch or maybe closer to the next piece I've worked up. Then I start laying down some color and I just continue building up layers and layers and layers until it's completely different than what I had anticipated in the first place. I find with these, I need to set them aside, look at them for a while, revisit them, and, and to see things that, that stick out for me that I don't think are working that well or things that I think I need to change. So I would say the majority of them don't look anything like where I started. I'm trying, I'm, I'm hoping I'm portraying the motion or the stillness of, of water and, and, and how it works in the depth. Um, but if they just like the picture, that, that's okay too. What Lies Below runs until June 25th in the Joiner Gallery. The exhibit is open to the public free of charge. Visit niagarapumphouse.ca for operating hours. In Niagara-on-the-Lake, reporting for The Source, I'm Anne-Marie Zamet.